Hello, YouTube. And this is my face. <laughs> Not really. Um, I'm going to do a little tu tutorial video on how to make a mission on DCS World, a uh, racing mission. Let's go straight to the DCS Digital Combat Series front end. And we're going to create a very simple mission with a few planes and um, just some hints and tips. I don't know how it's going to go. I'm, I haven't got a plan on this video, but here we go. So if we go to the Digital Combat Simulator screen, and you can download DCS World for free. Um, and I'll put, put up the website uh, somewhere here. I've got an itch. I've got an itch. What, what are you supposed to do if you've got an itch? I can't take it off. Um, and I've got the washing machine going on in the background as well. So sorry about that. I've got to do my laundry. Um, so if we go to the mission editor, which is here. Load it up. Um, DCS World is about, oh, it's about 8 gigabytes. It's huge. So uh, it'll take a while to download. So here is the map of the area, um, and there's lots of options on the side. Just have a play about with it. I'm not, I'm not going to say, you know, I don't, I haven't read the manual. I didn't program this editor, so have a play with it, and you'll get to understand what's going on. So if we go to this weather, you can change the weather. You can load up different weather systems. So we're going to have a spring clear sky. If you press that. It'll change all the settings. Um, so let's put a plane down. Let's go to one of these. If you select plane, and it's already defaulted at uh, the A10A. So if we zoom in, and there's Sochi there, and I put a plane down. We need to give it some waypoints. So if we go to this area here, click on add, and let's have one, two, three if you hold down the right mouse button you can drag the map around we have four waypoints and then if you click on edit click on the plane and you can see the altitude there and the speed and you got mean sea level or above the ground level so I want to keep it at mean sea level. If you're going over ground, then you can change it part way through to above ground level. But we'll just keep this one simple. So click on the plane. Click on the plane. Let's set the altitude at 500 feet. It's nice and low. And we'll set the speed to 300. So as soon as these uh, this map is loaded, it's already flying at that kind of uh, height. Uh, altitude and speed okay now we get to the next waypoint there uh, you can decide that I normally keep it at the same so what was it before 500 and 300 so 500 altitude is 500 feet and 300 knots okay now once they reach waypoint one you can change it to something else. So you can make it go higher, let's say a thousand feet. And if you want it to go at full throttle, I normally just type in 1000. I know that's not the top speed of the A10, but it will just do what it can. So as soon as it goes past waypoint one, it will go, it will try and aim to go above, um, or go for 1000 um, knots full power basically for the A10 and increase altitude to a thousand feet okay so waypoint three we're going to have the same that's our main straightaway race I suppose there we are and at waypoint four let's slow it down so maybe it's crossed the finish line so let's have it at uh, 300 again. Press enter. Right, so that's our very basic uh, one plane um, course there. 
So if you click on that, and that's highlighted, make sure on edit. Um, if you press, if you keep the mouse over it, and hold down Control and C, so Control first, and then press C. Now it's copied that. Okay. So if you zoom in a little bit, then go to the go to the side of it. Now hold down Control and press V. That's cutting and pasting. And there we are. We've got exactly the same uh, plane and root. So if you want to do this ten times, you can, and then you have a long, yeah, you know, big like Formula One race, I suppose. You can have I don't know 24 planes if you want to, if your computer can handle it. Um, now I'm going to change the second plane to I don't know. Uh, so you got all these planes there, you see, and there's the country. So if you change the country to Russia, you can have all the Russian planes. Now the problem with choosing Russia is it'll go red, and that means they might attack each other. So if you don't want to do that, you want to have a multi-country uh, race, you need to click on this uh, clipboard. It's again. And you can see which countries are in which colour. Okay. Now, um, you need to think about that at the beginning. So, uh, if you click on this one here, it will create a new map and you can uh, move countries to different colours. So you could have all the whole world's uh, countries on the same side if you want to. But I'm not going to do that now. I'll just tell you where that button is. So you need to have a plan uh, before going into the editor of what you want to achieve. Okay? You can't just wing it. I suppose if you're uh, initially learning you might want to. Okay, so I'm not going to have a Russian plane. I'm going to have, I don't know, another American plane. So let's go with a F-15C. Now if they're yellow, that means you can fly it. So you can change the skill of the pilot. Uh, I think they all default to high, but you can change it to player. So you can actually take part in the race. Uh, but as you know, I normally don't play in the races. <laughs> Right, so I'll put it back on the skill to high, the pilots. Let's check what the A10 is. They're high as well. Okay, so... Now, if we double check on each of the waypoints, make sure they're the same as the A10, so they have a fair start. Ah, you can see at the second waypoint, the speed, at, the speed is at 454 for some reason. That must be the top speed of the A10. So let's change this to 1000 move on to the next waypoint, change that to a thousand and at the final waypoint we're slowing them down so that's fine we're slowing down from 1000 to 300 knots okay now that's pretty much all to it that, that's all to it so let's move a bit closer I don't know how close they are so you need to go into the race to find out. Now we need a finish line, so okay, you can go to structures, which is here, and you can choose a static object, so I use oil oil rigs, oh no, not warehouses, what am I doing? Structures. You can have an air show crowd, you can have lots of things, uh, oil platform, that's it. So let's now that when they hit waypoint three, they start slowing down. So let's put some oil rigs down. Now um, you can either control and uh, control, not control. Yes, control, copy and paste. So control and C, move your mouse. C, control and V, bang, bang, bang. Okay, they're a little bit wonky. And you can change the orientation of them as well, but for the point of this tutorial, I'll keep it nice and simple. Okay, not brilliant. Okay, and um, make sure you save. So save as whatever. I'm not going to save it now. Um, now what you can do is now press this green button to start the race. So let's do that. 
I'm not saving it. And then you can see uh, what it looks like. Oh, thank you for subscribing, everyone. I really appreciate it. I don't think I'm going to be popular as PewDP, and then I can give up my day job and just do this for, for the rest of my life. I say I don't mind. <laughs> Um, I'm giving you the tools to do the same, so you can create your own races, I look forward to seeing them. Maybe you'll be more famous than PewDP. Right, it's loading. Blah, blah, blah. What's uh, a dentist's favourite time? 2.30. It's a little joke there. Um, while we're loading, if you want to, you can visit my other channel. It's called Kevin and the Internet. And I'll put a link here. And that's my other channel I'm working on. Okay, so here we are. So if we um, press fly, and there you can see, there's our A10 there. Where's the other plane? Oh my goodness, it's miles away. Well, you can go, if you press escape and you can, you can go back onto the original map, I'm not going to do that now, and you can move them a bit closer. Now if we press shift and F2, it'll get rid of the labels. If you zoom back in with the mouse, you can see the F15 in the background there. If we press F2, it goes to the next plane, and there you are. Okay, so they're just rumbling along at 300 knots at 500 feet. And as soon as they cross the next waypoint, they'll start to increase speed. So, um, and that's, that's all to it. Um, I don't recommend using Shadow Play to record your videos because it likes to crash. So, you've got to have a really powerful machine using Fraps or um, some sort of recording program um, to record or you could do what like I've done, if you've got a lot of space on your table is to have two computers, link them up and record using El Gato between the, two, t between the two and then you won't have any frame drops so there we are um, F3 does the flyby view which I quite enjoy seeing there you go fantastic um, and there it goes, they go full power, full, full power. I've got the microphone as well, full power, they're going full power now. <laughs> um, yeah, you can go crazy if you like. I mean, the crazier you are, the more famous you're going to be, because you're more entertaining. Um, you know, if you watch PewDP, I keep mentioning him, um, he shouts a lot, and he's got a really big fan base. Um, yeah, so the beauty with the DCS world is that you can create whatever you want, with your own imagination and um, I mean if other people do the same then maybe this will get you know not I don't think it'll ever be as popular as Minecraft which is the other sandbox type game so oh if you can hear a buzzing sound that's my fan so let's turn that off is that better um, and <laughs> but anyway there it goes the F-15 is in the lead let's check up on the A-10 and obviously that's not as fast as it's topped out at 350 knots there. There's the pilot. Okay, so let's go back to the, uh, the F-15. And I'm looking out for those oil rigs, so I can't see them. If you press Ctrl and Z, you can speed up time. There you go. And if you press Alt and Z, you can slow down time. So, well, let's slow ourselves down. So there's a little bit of work there to do to get the oil rigs in the right place. So you just go back into the editor and go, and go back in and just look at it. So, uh, yeah, so that's the F-15 finishing there. Fantastic. That's got its uh, break out. So now we're going to press Escape and then quit. Okay, now at this point you can actually save the video. So if you press save track, you can save it and view it later. Now if you um, press F2 as soon as you load up that track and then you know start recording it with fraps or whatever, then it 
um, it, you can um, change the camera angles and everything like that. So it doesn't actually save the camera angles, it only saves what the planes did. So that's brilliant. Okay, let's go back into the mission editor. So, yes, yeah, so there's some work there so you can move them a bit closer. Um, change the weather, do whatever. Um, if you want a plane to um, attack, so let's put a let's put an obstacle in there. Actually, I haven't shown you how to do that. So let's put a boat in there. Let's choose that. Let's put a boat in there and just change it to Russia. So attack it. So you don't need to do anything. It will automatically attack. So you can put on speedboat. Um, I won't have a uh, waypoint, so let's delete that and get its speed to zero. We don't want it moving. So there we are, there's a little boat there that will attack the planes as you're flying along. So I hope that was useful. That's all I'm going to say in this video. If you've got any questions, put them in the comments below. I just want to say thank you for subscribing again. Um, if I get up to 500, uh, you know, subscribers, that's, that's a nice little achievement. Um, so, yeah. Um, yes, thank you for watching again. Bye-bye.